everyone, it's Mandy from Designs by Miss Mandy and today I'm going to show you how to make die cut mandalas. A few months ago I made a video about how to make mandala patterns and today I'm going to be building on that one to show you how to make them into cut files now if you so choose. Um, so if you haven't seen that first video you'll need to make sure to check that out just so you can see the um, method that I use to make these mandalas because I'm skipping those first few steps. So let's get started. So to show you, I have four different mandalas here, and two of them are completed and two of them um, aren't. And so the completed ones, as you can see over here in our layers panel, are both compound paths. And that's going to be our ultimate goal when we're making cut files, is to make our designs into compound paths. So let's see how to do that. And I'll sh start with this one. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is with my whole mandala selected, I'm going to go to my symbols window. If you don't have that over here in your panel, you can go to window and click symbols. And so with everything selected, I'm going to click this little button here. Sorry, it keeps hovering over different ones. This one, break link to symbol. And now everything is in separate pieces. And since I used lines in a lot of my designs here, there's one more step I need to do before I merge them together, and that is go to Object and Path and Outline Stroke. And that will turn all of my lines into shapes. All right, so now I have my whole group of shapes going on here. It's not a symbol anymore, so if I were to edit it, it would only change in that one area and not the whole thing. So that's why I suggest also saving a backup or a different layer um, of your mandalas in case you ever did want to go back and fix them. It's good to have that original file um, on hand. So now if I were to go, the next step is technically to go to Pathfinder and I want to merge all of my black shapes, but if I were to do it now, it doesn't work. And the reason is because I still have my wedge shapes. You can see the lines, even though they're not showing up in black, they're still there. And I need to get rid of those first. So what I'm going to do, well first I'm going to use my magic wand tool and uh, if you don't have that in your layers panel also you can just go to window and then click magic wand. And I'm going to select all of my black shapes using my magic wand tool and then I can click the unite or add button. I always call it merge but it's not technically correct. Over here in the layers panel now, you can see that we have uh, my black uh, mandala pattern along with all of my wedges have now been separated. Now I'm going to just select all of my wedges over here in my panel and just get rid of them. I don't need them anymore. And ta-da! It's a compound path, which is exactly what we want. Alright, so... I'm going to do this one more time, and this mandala is slightly different, so I decided to kind of mix it up and show you something else that uh, could take an extra step if you have a design like this one. So it starts off the same, select the whole thing, go to your symbols window and click break link to symbol, and then um, you're going to go to, if you have any lines in there, you're going to have to go to object, path, outline stroke. And then once again, I'm going to use my magic wand tool and select all of my black shapes, which it's also now selecting this one, so I'm going to lock that. Um, with all my black shapes selected, I'm going to click uh, Unite, but watch what happens to my little white shapes when I do that. So it looks like they disappeared. They didn't actually disappear. What happened is that this uh, path went on top of them and so I'm going to move this to the back and then I'm going to select all of my white shapes and for some reason when this was a symbol it made two of them in this area I've tested this already so I know that so I'm just going to delete one of those then I'm going to use my magic wand tool and select all of my white shapes and now that I have all those selected um, I'm going to make them into a compound path. The difference in tools that you use depends on if things are overlapping or not. Since the black shapes were all overlapping, that's why I used the Pathfinder and then the Unite tool. Uh, since these white shapes are all separate from each other, I'm going to go to Object, Compound Path, Make. 
Oh, except for they're in different groups. That was the other thing I need to do. I need to ungroup everything by going to Object and then clicking Ungroup or Shift Command G. And they're still in quite a few groups, so I'm going to do it again. I'm just going to use the shortcut. Okay, now you can see in my layers panel everything is separated. So now I can use my magic wand tool, select all my white shapes, and then go to Object Compound Path Make or Command 8. Alright, now you can see over here we have our in our layers panel we have our black mandala pattern and then we have the white shapes on top of it and then all in between we have all of our wedges which we want to get rid of so I'm just gonna highlight those and throw them away and then select both my black shapes and my white shapes so right now I'll show you if I were to drag this over onto the gray you can see that these pieces are all white and we want them to be cut out of the black shapes okay to do that we're going to select both of them and go to your Pathfinder window again and go to uh, minus front or subtract. And when you do that now, you can see if I were to drag this over here, you can see that these shapes have been cut out of the black shape. So now we can check our work over here in the layers panel and both of these mandalas have become compound paths, which was our goal. So a couple things to note. Uh, I always work in multiple art, almost always work in multiple artboards. SVG files have to be saved um, as one artboard, so you can either save all of your uh, mandalas to one artboard, or if you want them to each be separate files, you'll have to de delete them all, except for the one that you're saving, and then delete each artboard as you go along. Um, it's kind of a pain if there if anyone knows a workaround for that I don't know why you can't save out multiple artboards with SVG you can do it with PNG JPEG but not SVG and I don't know why so that's one thing to know another thing to know is that um, I usually do my pa my cuts out of paper and if you're designing things for paper all of your black areas or positive areas need to be touching at some point so if I'm cutting this out of paper and I had a little circle in the middle or something, um, this circle would get left behind when it was being cut out and so it would be basically useless. If you're doing vinyl though and then putting it on transfer paper, you can have those loose objects as long as everything's a compound path in the end. Hopefully that makes sense. It takes a little bit of time to figure out how to do it, but once you've designed a few paper cuts, um, you get the hang of it. So there you go. Well, I hope that that explains things on how to make die cut mandalas. I know a couple people had questions about it. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And have fun!